Good morning. It's Thursday, December the 8th, 2016, about 740, 53 degrees. A little bit of smoke in the air from our fire going. Now he's getting ready to go to the Hardee's. I hear the truck running. I get to stay home all day today, and then this evening we got the deacon's dinner at, your, at, the, at the pastor's house, so that'll be, that's always really nice. There's Larry going. He's waving, he got the window down. Can't keep up with him. I got a lot to do here today, just cleaning up the house and catching up. Things have just been letting slide. But first I gotta put the stamps on the Christmas cards. Trying to fix my tree. Row six didn't work, but when I took it off and plugged it in, it worked. And when row six wasn't working, row five worked. But when I took out row six, row five worked and row four went out. So I think I'm gonna move row five up and six up and leave four out and see how that comes out and I'll have more room for presents underneath if everything keeps working. Here's my tree now. I took out row four and kind of staggered row seven. So it looks better. I still got a few holes here now but ornaments will fill those up. It's better than it was. I don't like it with all the lights out. At least we got lights everywhere. My Christmas cactus is blooming. I think those are pretty blossoms. And the paper white that Reba gave me last week is blooming. It's pretty. It's in a glass vase, clear. It's pretty. Even my very old Christmas cactus that never blooms is trying to bloom this year. And that has more of the buds are toward the light, but uh, at least it's got buds. Usually I don't do anything. And if it does, it might be January. We picked our lemon crop, so I'll be making lemonade. And some lemon juice, probably. This is one of the bananas that grew in our tree. Um, I took a bite out of it and it's good. It's nice and ripe and it's good. I just had too much lunch to eat, eat the whole thing. So we brought them in. It's supposed to be down to 30 degrees tomorrow night. So we brought them back in the house. The, the whole stock. I fried four and a half pounds of hamburger for chili next week. That's part of it. Now I got this over here in the bag. As soon as this cools, I'll add it to the bag and put it in the freezer. Sun over there is about gone. It's five o'clock. We're, st I, um, we're getting ready to go to the deacons. I've been calling them a dinner or a party, but it's a fellowship. So we're going to the fellowship tonight where they'll serve hors d'oeuvres. It should be nice anyway whatever we do or have or eat. It's 512 and the sky's looking pretty. I just cut Larry's hair. He wanted to look nice for the deacon's party tonight. Chili temperature along the way. Chili, let's call it. Yeah, we should. We're, we're not used to this, right? 28 for that overnight low tomorrow night. So. You about ready? Well, I guess I am. Sitting here reading. Is it time to go? Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're home. 
we're home from our uh, fellowship with the deacon, with the other deacons and, and the pastor and his wife. They had for us, and we got all kinds of goodies tonight. Uh, Larry won a box of Russell Stover candy. He got that because he was the first one to say Merry Christmas when he went in the house. The only. He was the only one to say Merry Christmas. Thank first you. and only. Yeah. Well, other people said it later, but he was the first. So he got that. And then we had things on a tray that we had to remember and write down. And Larry and I came in second. We had 17 out of 20. And we won. Uh, I think this is a the box is really pretty. And then we got... This was in it. Little bells. This is pretty. So that was a prize we won. And then the pastor always gives everybody, and his wife gives everyone gifts. And so all the ladies, all the deacons' wives, received this is bath and body foaming um, hand wash. So it's uh, cinnamon, let's see, red apple, fresh cinnamon, and cloves. So I'm looking forward to using that. And she, we got things for the kitchen. And this is a uh, candle that smells like cinnamon and cloves. It's a candle. And we got two hand crocheted uh, dish rags. And everybody was bragging on how good these are. So I'll find out. Uh, how old was the lady that made them? 91 was the one that crocheted them. I think she was 91. And then Larry's for, for the men's deacon gift. He got this book, Un Unfiltered. <laughs> It's from Duck Dynasty, The Way I See It, by Paul Robertson and Mark, I can't pronounce his last name, Shawbath, Bach. And it looks like it's their views on different uh, topics. So that'll be interesting to read. And along with the book, Got a nice box. In the box, a cup. It has a lot of writing on it, and it says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a and a future you will no win. Plans to give you hope and and a future you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven thirteen. So that's nice. So now I can drink coffee while he reads his book. And I'll say Good night. God bless.